You're watching Chicago Bears now. Week one of the NFL season just over a month away. I, for one, cannot wait. If you think the Bears will beat the Lions in week one like I do, give us a thumbs up on this video. Go ahead and hit that like button. It's right below the video. Can't miss it. I expect three, four hundred, five hundred, a thousand likes on this video because we all know the Bears own the Lions. So give us a thumbs up. And coming up in just a few seconds, we got mailbag time. Thanks to everybody for using hashtag Bears. Let's start with Biff Apotamus. Trade idea, Washington has a bit of an abundance on their D-line, true, and they probably could afford to ship off either Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, or Matt Ioannidis. Would that be a decent solution for us? Obviously talking about uh, Eddie Goldman opting out at the nose tackle uh, position. It's interesting. John Jenkins, to me, we've talked about it before, more of a rotation type of nose tackle. Don't really have a true... Uh, uh, three, four defensive tackle on the roster outside of him. So you've got, you're a little thin there. Let's be honest. Eddie Goldman opting out is a big deal. And we'll talk about Goldman more here in a little bit as well. You look at these three players for the Washington football team. Now, the, they want to keep all three of these guys. So I'll just prelude this by saying it's pretty unlikely. All three of these guys under the age of 26. I've said all along. Ryan Kerrigan is the defensive lineman for Washington that you could be able to get via trade. Obviously, he plays defensive end. Jonathan Allen's young. Ioannidis is young. Deron Payne is young. And they're all good football players as well. Maybe Ioannidis, he's a little older at 26, but he was also the most productive last year. I would like to add one of those guys, but I'm not trading a, a, I'm definitely not trading a, my first round pick for one of them. I don't know if I'm doing my second round pick either. It's interesting. I wish you would have sent me a trade proposal because then I'd have a better idea of whether or not I'd be willing to do it or not. Speaking of that, flood the comment section. You can just reply because it'll be the, the pinned comment on today's video. Send in your best trade ideas. If we get enough good ones next week when we do our mailbags again, I will do a trades-only mailbag. So send in your best trade ideas right there. You reply to the pinned comment. It's very, very easy. You can send more than one. I'll pick from the best ones, and we'll do a video next week. Sports Highlights Kingdom using hashtag Bears. Since Goldman's opt-out trade, I, I think he said tr he meant to say trade him I'm uh, or cut him. I'm done with him is what he's trying to say there. Um, Here's the deal. I, I, I understand if you're annoyed or a little upset at any player opting out. I'll just say this, number one. It's not your life. It's theirs. They can do whatever they want. If you want to be upset, life's too short to get annoyed by this stuff. That's what I'd say, number one. Number two, it doesn't help you from a financial perspective to cut Eddie Goldman. You're still going to owe him money uh, in the future. It's not like, oh, you cut him because he opted out. It saves you $10 million. Number one, it actually does save you like 7 or $8 million this year. His contract just rolls over to next year. And number two, he can still be a valuable player for you in the future. Does it stink for this year? Yes. it's It, it sucks, but it is what it is. That is COVID-19 for you. 69 NFL players opted out. Normally, that's a very nice number. It's not so nice in this situation, but Eddie Goldman's not the only guy who did this. Jordan Lucas did this for the Bears. Lots of other players across the National Football League did it. I understand that you're upset. I would take a step back and just, you know, be positive. Say, hey, go sign Snacks Harrison. That's what I keep saying. That's what you guys should be thinking as well. Now, we got new Bears face coverings available, including this one that'll cover your neck. It gets cold as hell in the Windy City come wintertime. Now, some of these are back-ordered, so... You want to get in line now and order these. That way you get them shipped to you as soon as possible. But I promise you will get them eventually. Go to chatsports.com slash bears masks. If you want to upgrade, I'm sure we all have masks by now, but why not rep the bears that USA themed one to sweet? This new three pack is available, as is this one. Bunch of new ones. And yes, we still have the four pack. Chatsports.com slash bears masks. That link will be in the comments and in the description. Next up here, in e -N -G -H 3 r I don't know how to say that as a word. Is it E-Niter? Producer Brett, help me out here. Hashtag Bears, get Philip Lindsay for Tariq Cohen and a third or a fourth round pick. <sighs> this is a kind of a tricky one. Running back trades are weird because they're not that valuable. We'll compare the two guys. How about that? Uh, that that's an interesting way to go here. Two different ty type of players, right? Lindsey, more of the rushing guy. Cohen, more of the receiving guy. 
Uh, you know, I don't think – here's the thing. Why do the Bears need Phillip Lindsay when he's more of a rusher when you got David Montgomery? Also, though, do the Broncos want Tariq Cohen? That's what I want to know. Maybe they figure, hey, we'll pair Cohen with Melvin Gordon because now we don't need Phillip Lindsay because we signed Melvin Gordon. Maybe that's their approach. But is Phillip Lindsay better than David Montgomery? I think they're pretty similar. They bring some to the table, good rushers, decent receivers, although I think Montgomery can be a lot better than he was last year if they utilize him more. If it's straight up, fine. Adding a third or a fourth round pick, I'll, I'll, throw, it, I'll throw it up in this style so you guys can see it. Phillip Lindsay for Cohen and a fourth round pick. I don't think I'm doing this trade. Are you doing this trade? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I can't give up a middle round draft pick for a running back. Unless you're getting somewhat elite. Phillip Lindsay's nice, he's good. He's not an elite runner. There's a reason they signed Melvin Gordon. So I'm gonna go ahead and type my in for no. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I wanna remind you guys to get subscribed to Chicago Bears now. You want the best coverage on the Bears here on the internet? Hit that big red subscribe button. Share that link with a friend. It's youtube.com slash bears now and again, Send in your best trade ideas. I'll do a trades only video coming up next week. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video because we'll do it for you guys here on Chicago Bears. Now, Danny Zeff, if the Bears were to trade their first round pick this year, what would they get in return for it? It's hard to speculate, right? I think the only way the Bears trade their first round pick is A, if they're moving up in the draft, or B, if they try to go get a quarterback that, you know, is in a weird situation with their current team. So I'll look at these three guys. This is, I'm reaching, obviously. You don't just find quarterbacks to trade for, but what if the Jets bottom out? Maybe you take a chance on a young Sam Darnold. Not sure it would cost you a first-round pick at that point, but that could be an option because I think he has real upside. Dak Prescott, we know the Cowboys' situation. They couldn't get a deal done. Fair to, fair to think that may not happen next offseason either. If the Cowboys want to move on, trade Dak, May have to trade two first, but you're getting a franchise quarterback in his prime. And then, yes, your rival, Aaron Rodgers, pretty good chance this is his last year in Green Bay. I'll focus on these two guys a little bit more here. I think that uh, there's a good chance uh, 2020 is his last year with the Packers. You know, some of you guys are split on whether or not you would take Aaron Rodgers in Chicago. I think you're lying. I think you would take him. <laughs> I think you're just frustrated at how much he's beat up on the Bears over the years. So those are some guys to think about. If you're going to trade a first-round pick, got to be for a quarterback because the Bears need that first-round pick. They haven't had one in two years due to the Khalil Mack trade. So that's what I would say to that one, Danny. Question of the day as we wrap things up. Better food on game day. Type H for hot dogs, type P for pizza. Both very popular in Chicago. I'm more of a pizza guy, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section.